Hey guys, I actually just noticed a question in the Doodly group about using images in your Doodly videos. Somebody was asking whether or not people combined images, I guess, with their drawn in vectors. And I had mentioned I do it all the time and I think that they could make for beautiful videos and I just wanted to go over real quick exactly how this works. So as you can see here, I have taken the liberty of just bringing in an image. This does not have any draw paths. You can create draw paths. And if you were to preview this, okay, you would see that it basically kind of just gets scribbled in, okay? However, let's just say, and you can certainly make that as long as you want, okay? So I have it set to the default three seconds. If you're wanting it to take a little bit longer, you know, you can always switch it out, you know, and then of course you would save it, okay? Let's go back to the three seconds there for a second and go to this next one. So this was an image I had brought in and I did create draw paths for this, okay? So if I were to click on it and go here, you would see that there are quite a few, all right? I took some time to do this. I've created 98 draw paths for this one picture, all right? And I think that if it's something you have the patience for, then it could certainly make for a very interesting way for an image to get drawn in, okay? It's not something you have to do. It is something that you could do, okay? So, and what it looks like, you were probably able to see in the little preview, but we will just go ahead and preview it. And I had taken the liberty of extending this to five seconds. So what would happen here is if I were to preview it, okay, you'd see the first one kind of get scribbled in and you would see this one get drawn in. And it always looks better once you've already exported the image, uh, the video rather, okay? So you do have the option and you can certainly, as I said, use images with your Doodly videos and you can mix and match. You can throw a small image here and have that scribbled in. You can throw a couple vectors over here. The way I look at it is it's your project and if you can come up with something great, then I don't think that there should be any particular rules on how you do it, okay? So I did do another video on this, but I'll go over it real quick here. If you want to create draw paths for your image, all right, you would simply click on that. And what you can do here is you'd zoom it in if you needed to, all right? And here is your first draw path, okay? You can keep it as path one, you can name it if you wanted to. You could just say, uh, <laughs> I don't know, first square, okay? And you can increase or decrease the size of your path, okay? And this is basically what it would look like. And you would create your paths this way, okay? And then maybe you would go to another path. Actually, I would have done that entirely differently. I probably would have come here, come here, and come here. Let me do that again. Watch this real quick, okay? You want to understand what it's like to quickly erase what you've just done. Control-Z, 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 Control-Z. Okay, undone. So I would start here, and I would go there, there, maybe there, there, okay? And then what I would do is go right here and you can go here if you need to and you can always kind of rearrange those because you can see how everything's going to be drawn here, okay? And I also had created a video about how to avoid getting the rounded corners here so you can keep them square, okay? And you would just do something like this. I'll go ahead and link to that video below. See what I mean there? All right, so there was a way that you could do that. Actually, it kind of went something like that. You could take that and bring it right into the corner. As you can see, it went ahead and squared that off. So that's pretty much what I would do. Okay. So we've got all of that because the, the uh, paintbrush is here. You would probably start a new path. 
and then you would just do something from there. Okay. And let's just say you wanted to start it. If you ever want to start a new path where another dot is, you don't want to click on this dot because what it's going to do is it's going to take you back to the previous path. You would have to go back here. Your best bet, start somewhere else. Okay, and then you can take that first dot and drag it over here so it doesn't take you back to your previous path. And you would do something like that. Okay, I'm not going to go through this entire picture. There are quite a few elements here. All right, but that is how you would start to draw a picture in and you would decide whether or not you want to make a big project out of it or if you just want to highlight a few little options just to create some type of an effect, you know, and this is something else that I have done before. Okay, so let's create a new path and let's just say there are just a couple of things on here that I want to sort of have come into the picture, like maybe these, I don't know, these little pins. Do something like that path do something like that you can turn this into a whole project all right and you can like i said you can get as creative with these videos as creative with these pictures as you want all right save and return and so what would something like this look like well it would look like this Okay, that was exciting, <laughs> but you get the idea, all right? And that's what you would do, okay? So if you wanted to take an image, you can draw these draw paths out. I have done them for far more elaborate pictures than even this one. And again, it's just something if you wanted to listen to some music or listen to an audio, maybe by something by Jay Krishnamurti or somebody wise like that, and you can get busy and get into a zone just drawing out these paths if it's something that you wanted to do it is certainly something that you can do but in answer to your questions yes you can mix images with vectors and you can have them just drawn in you can draw the paths in and create that entire beautiful doodly effect into your images and you can do all this stuff in the same video Okay, so I just wanted to show you how that works and I hope you guys found this useful and if you love content like this or if you're into Doodly, then I have a whole playlist dedicated to videos um, of little tips and tricks that I have found using this awesome program that I have had a lot of fun with. It is not to replace their, you know, their formal tutorials on the Doodly.com website, however, you know, I just kind of show some of the stuff that I've done along the ways. All right, guys. So if you love stuff like this, I'd love it if you would hit the like button. It does help other people see the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys are all doing well. Until next time, take care.